Hey you guys, welcome back and thank you so much for watching another motivational cleaning video. Today we're going to be unpacking some areas in our new home and overall sharing our new living space with you guys. We're moving into our new home and sharing what the space has been like, all while giving you guys tips on moving and downsizing your home. We have made a drastic change in our lives, one that has honestly really pushed us to question what life has been about up until this point. Honestly, as young adults who took on the responsibilities of adulthood pretty early, it's come a time in our lives where a lot of things have changed and even though I have the opportunity to share our journey with you now and I may look the part, behind the scenes it's been us grabbing the glue every three seconds trying to keep our family together when life has thrown its curveballs. It's not been easy and we've made mistakes along the way but we've also made progress that puts us in a place of spirits to know that everything is going to be okay. And I'm sure we all can relate to having a time in our lives where you were young adults, early 20s like us, trying to figure it all out and keep the pieces together. So today I'll be sharing unpacking, moving, cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. So if you're new here to my channel, my name is Vantasia. I am a wife as well as a mother to three beautiful babies. And here on my channel, I post motivational cleaning, organizing, and just all things motherhood. If you enjoy motivation like this, consider subscribing. I have this motivation and so much more motivation to share with you guys. Today we're going to be working on unpacking our living room and bedroom. When we moved in, we did have professional cleaners here to help really get in those nooks and crannies. We had so much going on, we were trying to get ironed out and set in stone that I couldn't deep clean before moving in. So it was nice having the extra help so I could focus on unpacking and moving in. I also tried to film as much as I could during this time. I just didn't have the time to sit down and actually post it with the both of us working now and the added stress of moving into a new home. I am really happy to be back though and I really do appreciate the kind words from so many of you who understand the unsaid right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys remembered in my last video, I shared that I didn't yet know what the space had looked like and what we were allowed to keep and what we had to get rid of. Some things we sold, some things we donated, and other things we just had to throw away because it was either broken or no longer fully functional due to time and age. We worked really hard sorting through all of our things and figuring out the best option for it in our new space. We do love the space and being here. We thought that it took us back to the beginning whenever I originally started filming in the first home that we lived in. It just reminded us of whenever we brought Jonah home from the hospital in the time where it really felt like home to us. And this house has so many similarities to that house that we really just felt at home as soon as we got everything unpacked. Like I said before, we didn't get the opportunity to sit down and fully prepare to move. It really just happened and I tried to make the best of every situation, even when I felt like I was drowning. I still filmed and I really wanted to get things done so we could feel at home and our everyday schedule wasn't impacted too much. This was a big change, but we've adapted to our new space very quickly and it's been nice seeing our babies in a new light and just creating that village for ourselves that we actually haven't felt in the three years that we have lived in Oklahoma. I still have pretty much everything from our living room except our sectional. I honestly had already planned on getting rid of it before we moved into this house and before I had even known that we were going to move, but I honestly couldn't bring myself to do it. Given it was our first new furniture that we bought together after getting married and we waited so long to get it, I kind of felt ungrateful when I wanted to get something new, so I never really made that change. Right now we're going to be hanging some decor using some command strips because we don't know if this is the official placing for our wall decor yet. So we don't want to make any holes just yet.
As you can see, our new space didn't give us much of an option, so we really did have to downsize, especially with our furniture. I was upset, but didn't take it as a huge loss because the section was very nice and we loved it, but it's been a good change of pace to have something that's smaller and pieces that can grow with us no matter what. Don't get me wrong, I think the sectional could have grown with us as well, and that wasn't our only option to get rid of it. That wasn't our only option to get rid of it. However, we wanted to get rid of it just so that we could get something smaller because there's nothing wrong with wanting something smaller that you could do more with. We did make some changes that were very challenging to do. However, we did see through it to get those things done and now we are very happy with the results. So I will be sharing those things later on in the video because we're just gonna be moving a lot of things around and just switching a lot of different things up now that we are in the new space with new lighting and wall color and things like that and it just feels so different. But I don't have a clue. My plan for our entryway was to keep our entryway table and also add the cute gallery wall that I've always wanted. Here you guys see I had unpacked the living room decor boxes and had also planned on putting our original photos up, but it didn't give me that gallery wall feel. So later we did switch out for bigger picture frames and I am so much more in love with the space. We did run into a few more challenges when it came to placing all of our furniture, like our living room furniture, around the living room. So some things actually went upstairs that you guys see in the living room right now, and some things went in the kitchen, and some things aren't even in the house at all. So I'll be sharing that with you guys at the end of the video.
one thing that I was really excited to keep as my little personal touch were my steel core bells that I got from Hobby Lobby about two years ago. It is my favorite tiny detail about our living room that I always add and it really does make a huge difference. Here in the living room, I wanted to add my two pieces of decor. These are the first things that Jaquen ever bought me for decor as far as our living room. And I have held on to these for literally years and they came from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love them. We originally planned on putting these in a living room, but we have since taken them out and we have replaced it with a clock. So I'm excited to be sharing with you guys the difference in how this looks versus how the clock looks. I'm honestly not sure if I would prefer the clock there or the sign, so maybe you guys can help me out towards the end of the video and letting me know what you like best. Seeing the space in our living room really come together, it really just made my heart melt, you guys, because if you remember all the way in the beginning, whenever I originally started filming for my YouTube channel, and we had, and we lived in that first house, I honestly felt like we couldn't just pull that living room together to get the outcome that we wanted, and it made me so upset because I worked so hard, and now I feel like I'm getting like a second chance at redoing that, Jake and I, we both are, and just seeing this space really come together, even at this point, I was so excited and so pumped y'all you can tell me nothing So now Jake Winner is just going to hang the core bells and I was so excited. It makes the world of difference. I really do love it. Given that this is just a small walkway and the wall kind of cuts off right here, it just adds like the extra oomph and you don't have to add much wall decor to really pull it all together and I love that. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted somehow Let me tell you why, what is up with your smile when we moved in at first our furniture hadn't been delivered yet so we wanted to set our living room up and really get a feel of the space and where we wanted things to be once i was done i wanted to steam mop our floors myself they had been deep cleaned the day before but i still wanted to go over them myself with my shark steam mop to just help me feel at ease so once i was done downstairs i mopped the floors and then i made my way upstairs to clean and organize our bedroom the house that we live in now, the floors are an upgraded linoleum. I think that's how you say it. I know somebody will probably correct me in the comments. However, this is just an upgraded version of that. And honestly, on a scale of one to 10, I would rate this and this house like on a 10. I love these floors. It is so easy to vacuum, mop, steam mop, do anything. 
Oh, and by the way, I did look up the best way to clean our floor, and I did find that a shark steam mop is one of the top three options that you can use to deep clean your floor. So you guys know that that just pushed me over the top. I was super excited because I absolutely love using my shark steam mop. I think I've been using this now for about three years, and I've had no problems with it. It is my favorite thing to use whenever it comes to deep cleaning our floor. So here's a quick look at what our living room looked like once we were completely done cleaning and we had a lot of the things put away. Everything wasn't done and we have made a lot of changes since then so I will be sharing that at the end of today's video. But I just wanted to share how everything was looking once I was done just to show the process because not everything happened like back to back to back. We were here for a couple of days, we didn't have any furniture and we just kept cleaning and kept maintaining until we got those things in. We do try to take our time getting new things for our home and sometimes I think it's just really hard to see that on camera, especially the behind the scenes and the time that has passed between filming. But these things are taking time and we're trying to get things done accordingly. Also getting things for ourselves and our family that just make life a tad bit more manageable. So moving on, as you guys can see upstairs, I'm just gonna go ahead and get all these boxes unpacked. My main goal was to clear a pathway because this was so, so unbelievable like I just didn't even want to be in our room I didn't want to lay down and I felt so sad because the movers aka my husband and father-in-law they really did set up the beds on the first day so it was exciting to see our room set up but I was so upset because we had so much stuff everywhere and I was just really overwhelmed so that's what I'm going to tackle right now getting all of these boxes unpacked and just cleaning and organizing our space just so we can get that feeling of just being in our bedroom again Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go Before we officially moved out of our old home, I did put all of my focus and attention on the last couple days. I dedicated that time to just washing all of our clothes and everything that we had. So whenever we moved over here, everything would be fresh and it would smell good and I wouldn't have to worry about doing laundry, especially given the circumstances with our new space. However, I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything away. It was pretty easy, I just had to hang everything, but I did run into some challenges because we no longer had our original dresser. We did switch dressers with the boys so that our bed and everything in our room would fit and their room would also be comfortable as well. So we ran into some challenges putting our clothes away, but we got everything in and it fit. And I'm excited to share with you guys how we accomplished that. Turn us to thousands and we'll grow in number. And 
I'm laying down at the compartment. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. Oh no, I don't even care to doubt. I see you in the wild, cause this time I will choose you. So of course stating the obvious this room is a lot smaller than the room we just had and the closet is not the space of the closet that we just had however we were not upset about this space we were actually pretty happy we feel closer together than ever in this space it doesn't feel so open I don't know we just really love this space even though it is a tighter space we enjoy it we enjoy the closeness now when it comes to the closet we actually didn't have to get rid of any clothes that we didn't want to get rid of so I was really excited about that because everything fit and we actually do have a lot of room to add more in the future just so long as I get the correct organizing bins from Amazon and I am excited for those to come in so I'll be sharing more of that in the future Another challenge that I ran into when it came to organizing our bedroom was finding a place for all of my hair care products. I did have two huge bins for my hair accessories and things like that, but I just couldn't find enough room for everything. So I did find a friend that I could give a lot of the things to, and I was really excited because she really did need those things because her things had gotten stolen. So I was just really happy to be there and happy to give her those things and she didn't have to pay for it because I believe that the case and every the case itself was 70 bucks with nothing in it so given the accessories like a blow dryer flat iron brushes combs all of that I was just super excited to help her out with all of that now however when it came to our space I did I was able to open up a lot of space in our room whenever I gave her all of that stuff so I was super excited about that and I am almost like I am super close to being able to fit all of my hair products and accessories and everything like that in all of my organizing bins in our room and I'll share more about that in the future.
The window slash lounge sitting space in our bedroom, it gave me so many ideas, you guys. I absolutely love this space. I can use this space for so many different ideas that I have, and I'm excited to be sharing those ideas with you guys in the future. I know that I keep on saying that I'm gonna share things in the future, but it's so hard to get everything in one video, so I'm just gonna touch base on a few things while I'm cleaning it so you guys know what's to come, and then I'm just gonna move on because there's a lot of different things that we have to organize and get put away in the bedroom. When it came to my clothes and everything that I had, I'm gonna be honest, I had majority of the things, so it was really hard to get all of that organized and put away. So I did have to really just pan down exactly what I wanted. Now, I didn't get rid of anything, but I did have to pan down what I wanted to be out and what I wanted to be in the closet, and also make enough room for Jaquin and the things that he's gonna get in the near future, because he has a lot of things that he still needs to this day. So right now, I'm just gonna organize everything, put my clothes away. Like I said, Jaquin and I, we did have to switch dressers with the boys, so we don't have the dresser space that we once had, and that was challenging figuring out a way to organize all of our things, and the fact that we went from an adult dresser to a children's dresser, you know, it was really hard, but we got it figured out.
places all at once. What's that hope we said will come undone? Feels like our minds have been turned off. Haven't seen each other for so long. I know, I know, I know this is in us. Maybe pull me closer, let's fall in love. One thing that I didn't get the chance to add were drawer organizers. We did have drawer organizers, but with this being a children's dresser, the organizers were on the bigger side and I wasn't really able to add them to this dresser. So with that being said, I had to, honestly you guys, I had to use every single ability that I had to fold these clothes and make sure everything fit and it wasn't too heavy. And the bottom drawer, the bottom slap like wasn't falling out. And then everything else I just hung up and it worked out perfectly. Our dresser drawers held all of our undergarments, tank tops, leggings for myself, lounge shirts, socks, and some pajamas. So it really wasn't that hard to get everything to fit, but it was a little bit on the challenging side, but I was just happy to get it done. In the future, I do see myself either moving the dresser to our closet just to open up the space and maximize the space in our closet a little bit better. However, I'm gonna wait on that because I haven't decided if I'm gonna just move the dresser to our closet or just get a taller dresser so we can open up the space a little bit, if you know what I'm talking about. And we haven't yet decided on what we're gonna do with the dresser that we put in our boys' room because we're thinking about opening up that space as well. But I'll talk to you guys more about that whenever you can see that space as well and you know exactly what I'm talking about. We did add all of our original decor. I believe the only thing I didn't put out in this video were our curtains. Overall, I was super excited about how everything looks because with the, with the space being tighter, I don't know, everything just came together so much more and it looked so good. Here's the finished look at our bedroom. We were able to maximize the space we had with the things we have for now and have accomplished downsizing our living room and bedroom without getting rid of our favorite things. I made use of the space underneath our bed with organizing tubs and also maximized the space to the best of my ability in our closet. We still have a lot of work to do, but I'll share more about that in the future. For now, I'm happy about how the space turned out, so let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. Once we get done with sharing how the bedroom looks, we're gonna move downstairs, and I'm gonna share with you guys like an empty house tour and also share how everything looks whenever we got it set up in the first couple days or week or so. So here's the living room. In our living room, we have a closet, and then we have the walkway to the kitchen and dining area. And then we have a little space right here. And then here's the stairs. 
And let me share with you guys how the other side of the living room looks. So here on the other side, this is the view. So we'll go upstairs in just a bit, but here are the stairs. And then you can just walk up there. I'll take you guys upstairs in just a little bit, but for right now, we're going to go in the kitchen and dining room. Here's our powder room. We're going to get that covered next week. And then other than that, here's this. They had a few things to do because they went ahead and added all new appliances. Like everything is brand new. And this is like real granite. I think it's pretty cool. So here's the bathroom or the powder room for downstairs. And here's the dining room. I think the dining room is actually really big. One thing that I do love about this space is that it's not open. In every single space that we've had, we've always had like an open space. And I'm not gonna lie, like I'm just kind of over it. So I really do love the fact that this is not open and we have dedicated areas because this is what I like. I really love the shelving that we have here in the dining room. I think that it's so cute. I cannot wait to decorate it. And that's right next to the powder room. And then here's uh, the closet that we have here in the dining room. It's pretty big. I wish it were, I wish it were big enough for us to put a washer and dryer, but that's okay. So here's the closet that we have in the dining room. And then here's the kitchen. Now the kitchen is a tad bit, the kitchen is small, but it's not that much smaller than our other kitchen. The only thing that we're missing is seriously the bar area. So here's that, our sink. And then this is a new dishwasher. We have to, well Jake Wynn has to put the dishwasher together. Yeah. Here's the other side, and the stove is new. I'm not happy about the electric stove, but you know, a stove is a stove, and we're gonna eat whatever it makes us. Well, it's not making us anything, but you know, we're gonna use it. Not a ton of cabinet space, but we do have a lot of, um, but we do have a lot of storage space throughout the home, so that's okay. Above there. I really do love how in the cabinets, like, oh my goodness, it's so, I love that. And then the drawers, when you pull them out, they actually stay up and out, and I love the inside. And they don't slam. Yeah. And then this, uh, this is a beautiful window in our dining room. I really love this. So here's the living room once again. In the dining room. Now we're gonna go upstairs. I'm so excited to decorate this area, you guys. So here we go up the stairs. I know the kids are gonna be super excited about stairs. They haven't even seen the place yet, y'all. Just to let y'all know. This happens so fast, but we have stairs. There's a little space right here for the stairs. Okay. And then, so there's downstairs. There we have this. I'm thinking this will probably be the boys' room. Here's the closet. And Jake and I, we already know that Jonah is going to be all over this ramp in their closet. But it'll be good too because they can use their marbles. They can use this ramp for their marbles or their cars or anything like that. And I think they would really like that. And that way they can keep their marbles and cars in their closet too with this ramp. Then we have some shelving at the top. And in all the bedrooms we have like little sitting areas and I'm super excited about that. So we have over here. Here's this. Then you walk out the hallway. Here's the bathroom. We have a few things that we have to get finished in the bathroom. But here's bathroom number. Well, this is the full bathroom, the only full bathroom that we have. Here's the toilet. 
so and then here's the sink I know you guys I look crazy but here's the sink super excited about this shower I really love the inside of the shower it's so beautiful here's that and then I'll share with you guys London's bedroom maybe I'm not sure if this will be London's room or the boys room we haven't really you know decided yet but there's the other room Probably just gonna put the dressers in the closet just to utilize, just so we can utilize our space better. But I really love again the window sitting area that we have. And then over here, the last room is our bedroom. And here we are. This is my favorite thing about our bedroom, you guys. That's so cute. I know it's like not done up right now, but whenever we get it decorated and get the TV hung up, that'll be like a built-in TV show. So freaking cute. And I'll probably add like a little, I don't know, like a little fireplace in front of it. It's gonna be super cute. And then here we have our um, window. Okay. And then over here we have our window sitting area. And then here's our bedroom. We don't have a huge walk-in closet anymore. There's our door. We do have a ceiling fan. There's the room again. And we could fit just about everything that we have in this room. We don't have much. And then we do have a hallway. You guys, dude, I'm super excited about the hallway that we do have because our hallways that we've had living here in Oklahoma have been so skinny and I'm just so grateful to have full hallways. I'm excited to put some decor in these hallways. I'm most definitely excited for Christmas time because I'm gonna have a Christmas tree right here. Like, it's gonna be super cute, I'm excited. Um, a lamp can go right there, by the way. That's the bathroom. And then that is the upstairs. Look at that light on the steps. How cute is that light? It's super cute. Steps, I'll probably get some decor up there. The steps, of course. And there we go. That is the full house tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and seeing how we downsized and owned the use of our space all while maximizing each area we organized today to the best of our ability. We still have a lot of work to do around our home, but we'll get there and get it done as time moves. Right now, I wanted to share how we started to set up the rooms and an overlook of what we've done so far. At the very end, I did share an empty house tour of the space before we moved in and how it looks whenever we were done. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye! So cool. Look, that's so fancy. Um, and then the fridge is new, still has all the plastic in it and everything, so that's a plus. That, oh, look at the light, it's actually really cute. That is that.